happy reading rush and welcome to my reading rush vlog. I don't know if I'm going to be doing multiple vlogs throughout the week, probably just one. I have not read anything yet, but I just wanted to start the video now. It's Monday morning. I'm just sitting at my desk working. I probably won't get to read until my lunch break, but I'm thinking I'm either going to start with the June boys and go outside to read it because that's going to be my outside read or I'll start reading something like Gravity and just stay inside. I'm a little sad because I'm actually in the middle of a book right now. It's Felix Ever After, which a lot of people have read. So I'm sort of sad that I have to put that on hold, but hopefully I will just be able to finish it like after the reading rush. And yeah, work's going okay. Wish I was reading, but oh well. So yeah, just thought I'd check in. Don't really know how this vlogging thing is gonna go, but. started reading The June Boys by Court Stevens outside. As I said, it's my outside challenge, my the challenge, and reading a book in a genre I haven't read a lot of. Also, can we just pray for my e-reader? <laughs> it's breaking apart. Anyways, I got 21% of the way through this. I'm liking it so far. I'm kind of wishing I could read it inside because it was really, really hot out. That's why I, I came in because I just couldn't sit out there anymore. But it's interesting. As some of you may know, it's a mystery about the Gemini thief who steals about three boys every couple years or so and then he releases them after a year and the main character's cousin we find out has been taken so that is sort of the connection with the main character and the mystery and her boyfriend really is suspecting her father for a couple different reasons like i guess he's sort of weird in general and she's struggling with this because obviously it's her dad like you don't want to think that your dad or someone you know is like a kidnapper and murderer because one of the boys just showed up dead for the first time one of the boys has died normally they're let go and they're fine so something's going on with this year in particular he also took one extra boy than normal which was the cousin so it's a mystery but it's also really seeming like it's the dad so far which isn't really a spoiler it mentions that i think in the synopsis that the dad's a suspect i hope that it's not the dad because i feel like right now that would be very like obvious but our main character also has a lot of uncles and like just a lot of men in her life and i feel like that's a little sketchy like men <laughs> I think in general like, are more likely to kill and stuff so the fact that she has so many men around her i'm like the odds are it definitely could be one of these like men like her dad or her uncle or something we'll see really the book has just been setting everything up and i can't really say too much more than that other than i am enjoying it so far i did hear from someone i forget who that like this book wasn't that good so my expectations have kind of been lowered so i'm actually not expecting it to be that amazing like it probably just will end up being her dad <laughs> that, that's the kidnapper we'll see now i have to go back to work i wish i could just read all day hello another update so i started reading something like gravity by amber smith i'm 23 percent through so about the same percentage through that i am with the june boys this book is for my birthstone prompt and i'm really enjoying it so far i think i might actually be enjoying it more than the june boys it is about these two characters chris and maya chris is a trans guy he came out 
pretty recently. Um, his dad's been pretty cool, his aunt's cool, his mom not so much. And he has been dealing with some bullying issues. So he is now staying with his aunt for the summer where he meets Maya, who is his aunt's next door neighbor. And what she's dealing with is that her sister died very suddenly, I think about a year ago, and her parents are divorced, yet they're living in the same house because they can't afford to move. And I really like it. I am connecting a lot with Chris and Maya, both of them. I find it very easy to read from both of their perspectives and they've started to interact now as well. There's going to be a romance and it's pretty cute. I think I like Chris more because he is more of like the happy one even though he has his issues like compared to maya she's a bit more of like the the sulky one and chris is more of like the optimistic one but i'm liking their interaction so far and i'm enjoying this i'm glad that it's my inside book because i just want to like keep reading it while i'm inside <laughs> so it's about 5 p.m and i've read 20 around 20% of two books so i feel like that's okay like i feel like i could finish both of them by wednesday so like halfway through and then read my other two books for like the second half because i'm only reading four books so i think this might work out we'll see <music> at my mom's house right now. I'm not in my typical setting of my apartment. So I just thought I should mention that in case anyone noticed. That's why probably none of you notice I'm in a different setting, but that's why I'm also like around my mom's cat and that sort of thing normally i like i don't have any pets at my place so i just thought i'd throw that out there so you like knew where i was but i'm staying with my mom for the week we actually finished hamilton tonight that was good to finally see what everyone's been talking about for all these years it was really good but i'm also glad i did not have to like pay for it like pay hundreds of dollars to see it it was just on disney plus so that was good and I'm not American, so I don't really know a lot about the American history, so some parts were a bit confusing, but I overall definitely see why people enjoyed it and the performances were really, really good. We also started the show Cursed on Netflix, which I am not loving, but I'll keep you posted on that. But anyways, as for my actual reading, I got to be 40% of the way through The June Boys. It's still just kind of okay it's really focused on like the dad being the kidnapper and that's our only suspect i guess so either it will be the dad and it's just about getting there and getting to the like reveal or maybe it'll be a twist on someone else but so far not not obsessed with it but like it's good and I'm just going to be reading more of something like Gravity. I'm about 20 something percent. I'm going to be talking in percentages since on my e-reader that's what it tells me more easily rather than like pages. But I'm still enjoying that more although a kind of dramatic thing happened like the two main characters kind of fought. So I'm like, like I want the cute stuff. I don't want the angst right now. But yeah, it's interesting reading two books at a time as well because I don't normally do that. I'm not overly loving it reading two at a time, but because of the whole indoor-outdoor thing, I sort of have to. But I think I've made good progress for the first day, being 40% through one and 20-something percent through another one. It's only like 11, so I'm still gonna read probably for another hour. But this might be my last update of the day. I'll probably just keep reading something like Gravity until I go to bed. So this has been a fun day one. Woo! <laughs>
did an update yet today, but it is day two of the reading rush. It's Tuesday afternoon now. I was working this morning. It's actually pretty busy at work this week, which is good. I guess it makes the day pass by quicker. But anyways, I didn't get to read until my lunch break just now where I continued reading The June Boys Outside. I actually just came in because there was a bee that was stalking me out there and that scared me and I came in, but I've gotten to 58% now. So the only things I really wanna discuss about this is that it does seem like there are more suspects than just the dad, although it is sort of, as I said, that they are all still related to her. Like it's all of her uncles and her dad's friends that are the other suspects. So it definitely seems like it could be one of them or even all of them working together, I'm starting to think. That is sort of what I'm leading towards. And I also was realizing the question of who done it is actually not as interesting as the why. Like that's something I'm actually interested in is why are they taking these boys? Because they're not do anything to them. They're basically just having them in this hidden place for a year. At least so far what I've seen, it doesn't really seem to have like a reason for this. So that's kind of more of the mystery and that's what's actually more interesting to me. Another thing that's sort of weird is that the girl's, the main character's boyfriend's sister is a part of the FBI investigation and she honestly shares like a lot with the main characters about the investigation. And I'm like, okay, this kind of seems like not accurate. Like the FBI would not be able to share this much. I don't know she's not doing like her job like she shouldn't be sharing this like stuff about the investigation another little note I've had is that I'm finding it a little difficult to differentiate between the characters like a lot of the dad's friends slash her uncles like I'm kind of getting all of their names confused so that's something so those are my notes for 58% of the way through maybe I'll try not to update again till I'm done because it's kind of like I'm just saying the same thing over and over <laughs> later from my update i think it's 11 p.m i spent the evening watching cursed with my mom which you guys saw still just kind of okay i like mostly the character moments the story is kind of weird and getting drawn out but anyways since it's the reading rush i just finished reading something like gravity by amber smith i know i was only like 20 something percent last time i updated it was really really good i really enjoyed it i think i would give it four out of five stars just not the full five probably just because i don't know i wasn't like obsessed with it but i really did enjoy it the romance i really enjoyed as i already said it was interesting since chris was a transgender guy he knew what it was like growing up with people treating him like he was a woman so he was able to understand things about being a woman that most guys don't like imagine if guys could actually understand women and what we go through i definitely cried during this book multiple times i will say there is an abuse scene so i guess as like a trigger warning if, if you're gonna read this i would be aware of that because it was a very upsetting scene obviously it was like an assault other parts that made me cry would be talks between chris and his mom regarding his gender and i would also say the end because it ended very abruptly like i literally just finished it a minute ago it was quite abrupt i <laughs> i still felt like there were multiple pages i guess it was just a lot of acknowledgement so be aware of that if you read it it just like ended and it was sort of like an open-ended ending which can be sort of like make you feel unsatisfied at the end like you want more and that's sort of what i'm feeling but i do get that it was a good ending like the main point of it is that like both of them chris and maya were like there for each other at the time that they needed them so that was really beautiful yeah i definitely would recommend this book if you want something that's very like deep <laughs> like has like deep themes like grief and like assault and coming to terms with your gender and things like that but yeah so i've officially finished my first 
book for the reading rush on day two so that's not too bad as someone who only chose four books <laughs> to read and i'm also over 50 percent done of the june boys so as long as the weather stays good i should be able to finish that in the next couple of days and i can get a new inside book which will probably be the second throne of glass book which i'm forgetting what it's called crown of midnight i think excited about that yeah feeling good also i am going to be starting to rate books i don't know if anyone's watched my other like wrap up videos i never like rate them out of five but i'm gonna start doing that because i also set up my goodreads account again and i'll have it linked in my description if you want to like friend me or whatever i'm still getting used to using goodreads again but if you do want to friend me on there i'm going to start rating all the books i read and actually like using it actually being like a book internet person more so yeah i think this is the end of day two i didn't do too many updates today but that's because mostly i was reading so that's good also i've really enjoyed watching other people's reading rush vlogs as you've sort of seen i've showed you a little bit of the people that i've been watching and it's hard like so many people are uploading right now and it's like i want to watch their videos but then i also want to read and like work on my own vlog so it's a lot it's a busy week i just wanted to check in and let you guys know that i did finish my first book so that checks off the challenge of reading a book with my birthstone on the cover <laughs> As you guys saw, it is rainy outside, so kind of ruins my plans of reading a book outside. <laughs> I know most people chose like a really short book, like a graphic novel to read out there. I did not. I was not smart like that. I also don't read graphic novels yet. So yeah, not sure how that's going to go unless it can get a little bit nicer out. Hopefully in the afternoon I can go out and read that. Otherwise, I'm going to be starting Crown of Midnight. Yay! <laughs> that I'm crying <laughs> oh. sometimes I don't even cry at sad things I just cry at like intense things yeah hey so I just finished reading the June boys and it had a big effect on me like I filmed a little bit of me crying but I, w I was crying a lot <laughs> There was sadness to it, but it mostly was just like the intensity of it. As I mentioned, very good book, especially the last quarter of it, I guess. Because yeah, all my updates till now have been like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. But it got a lot more interesting the last quarter of it. And I would say that it's a really good book. I, I just finished it, so I probably need a bit of time to digest until I officially rate it. I want to say maybe four to five though, just because it was a little slow at the beginning. But very happy with the twist and everything and the solutions that happened it was a lot it made me feel a lot of things which is a good sign for a book I don't know why it did get those negative reviews that I mentioned but maybe people were just having too high of expectations I don't know but overall I was happy with it and I would recommend it if you want a thriller mystery kidnapping book so that's my second read of the reading rush and I read it completely outside which I'm honestly proud of because I was getting so hot out there today. <laughs> I was wearing a sweater earlier, which maybe that was why, but also it was so hot. Maybe that's why I was having such an emotional reaction too, is that <laughs> my body was like overheating, but I don't think I've ever read a book fully outside before. So I feel pretty good about that. That checks off three more challenges for me, reading the June boys. It's the reading a book with the in the title, reading a book completely outside, and reading a genre that you wanna read more of, which was mystery for me so very successful second day i think this is going to be my last clip to wrap up the second day although i probably will start reading crown of midnight later today it's after 5 p.m so i definitely have some more time to read but i think i'm going to close off this vlog here it ended up being a vlog of days one to three and i think i will be uploading my vlog for the last half of the reading rush later next week so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching subscribe so you can see more book content for me and oh my gosh i'm like shaking filming this and good luck with the rest of your reading rushes <laughs> bye